Rod who grabbed eight boards on Wednesday. Feeds it Ed Filson for a three. Ball's oh high. My. Zach barely had time to collect himself before launching that one. But great to see a shooter's first shot go down. 7-2 Bulls. Well, it certainly was a hard fought game uh, from the beginning of the game to the end. It's had a very physical team. We played. Um, it wasn't, you know, if you came for a beauty contest, I guess you're wondering where you were after a while. But, you know, I, I thought our guys persevered. And I thought um, we got through some rough times and got ourselves back in the game. I also thought that our crowd played a big part, that they were huge, obviously, right down to the end. And uh, it's great to have that kind of support. They didn't burn a lot of energy on defense because we took some quick shots. And we've had that struggle with them in the past, and especially at home. You know, they've, I think they've won the last two or three times in here, and we've won the last two or three times in their building. We, you know, neither team has been able to win at home. And some of that I see why, you know, we're, we're in here and, and the first good shot, we're, we're, we're taking it and we're not making them defend. 23-19 Buffalo, 3-15 to play in the half. Left sideline fills in, closed in on by Richie, so he can't get, get off the McRae, three. Get it to McRae, right here on Stainbrook. Driving right baseline, Barnett all the way to the hoop, but he scores the layup. Now well, that's a patented Dave Barnett baseline drive. Obviously in this conference, it's such a battle that you, I mean, you need to play well every single night to get a win. So I think we're more excited about that, uh, keeping a streak going, uh, trying to get better and better. But it definitely, I mean, it doesn't hurt, obviously, and we probably needed to do it if we uh, wanted a shot at the end of the year. So it's probably, it's, a, it's big for us. While we're going through the West, we have to go on the road and play in some tough environments. So that, that helps us a lot going to their place and, and just experiencing that and uh, being able to persevere through that and coming back home and being able to finish it. And it's the first time we've done it and we wanted to make history and we have and we want to keep the, keep the streak going. But even before this format, I know that we haven't ever won every game against the West. Even when we were playing 18 games, we played somebody twice. We've never, when Turner and those guys were here, we didn't, we never won every game against the West because it's hard. And in fact, in Turner's senior year, the one game we lost against the West was to Western Michigan at home. And then we beat them in their building, and then we beat them in Cleveland. McCray into the game for Watts, swings it to Barnett right side, top of the circle, Titus. Looks left, Robin, uh, Filson and Oldham had bumped into one another. Now Barnett drives, bounces it to Robinson, cutting in from the right, and he lays it in on the left side. Breaks the streak and hopefully gets the Bulls focused defensively. I think the endurance part, being able to stay focused, and the next game is going to be really good. And the West, I think, as much as any of the years recently, have teams that are very, very, very difficult to play against. And it looks like Western now into his zone. They played some zone first half. Nori on top of the circle, right wing Oldham. Here's a lot for Watt under the basket, goes up and jams in the left hand. Bulls are down one, 49 to 48. Tremendous look that time from the weak side into Mitchell Watt. Uh, I'm not sure how Western could forget about him, but they did. I think the 30 games played, I think the East won 25 of them. But there were, you know, Kent, uh, this team went overtime against Kent at Kent and went overtime against Akron at home. And there were some really close games that the East was able to win. So it's a challenge. It's a challenge. And we knew this was going to be a challenge because they're good at one of the things we're really good at, which is rebounding. And for, you know, that was, I think that was huge. Well, the play was designed for me to run off a, a few screens to kind of be kind of a decoy at first because we wanted to get Dave Barnett on a back cut. But I don't know what happened on that side of the floor if they uh, took that away. But uh, John Oldham just hit me on the wig and I, I mean, obviously he's crowding me. Uh, he's worried about the three-point shot, so I just tried to create some space to get a, get a look. Oldham into the front court, guarded by Douglas, takes it right, finds Phil's in right side, he pump fakes a three, drives to the free throw line, stops, turns around, tries a leaner, it's good! 58-57 Bulls! Stainbrook will inbound, chucks it to Douglas, he heaves it, count anyway. the Bulls win 59-57.